We are at 279 East Main Street, Grantsville. It's October 10th, 2015, here with the new tenant. I'm just gonna come through, do a walkthrough inspection. I'm just gonna identify as many things as we can, good, bad, everything with the house. Our yard is, uh, it's had lack of water for the last, uh, last little bit, that's obvious. We got some eaves up here, a soffit that has come down. I believe we've got the soffit over in the garage, the soffit pieces. I'm not sure we have enough to put that up. I believe that got blown down oh, a month or two ago. Right here, we've got uh, railing that is, it was down and then it was up and now it's down again. Tenant is okay with putting it in the garage and leaving it. We got some some hardware here that is bent quite a bit. So rather than find new pieces, we're just gonna put this over, over into the garage. We only have about two feet. So we're gonna, we're gonna let that sleeping dog lie. Outside over here, the tenant pointed out something with this wall right here, right ahead of us. That wall is weak. You, uh, if you push it back and forth right here, that's a little weak. Mentioned that was okay. He was okay with that. Put some epoxy on that. See if we can get that to strengthen up. There's some doors that we've got for the kitchen cabinets. They were painted green at one point. Painted them back to cream. So here are the doors. One, two, three, four, five, six over there. In the garage. Tenant moved in last weekend and so he's already got, they already have a couple of things. Toilet, we're gonna take that toilet out, but this is the rest of their, their goods. Cleaned out this corner over here. Took uh, three loads with a trailer. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get this trailer. That trailer is still there. It's got a flat tire and a bad axle. We weren't able to get that to the landfill. So uh, we pulled that back. We mentioned to the tenant that the, the shed, the corral, I don't know what you call that, barn. That barn has got some holes in the back. Don't know how strong it is. So uh, they're just gonna leave that alone and and not play around with that. But uh, down the road, it'd probably be best to get that taken down. We got a fence right here. Fence this for a dog, and that's the rest of the yard. Anything else you want to point out? No. Okay. Go ahead. This is a tile that we finished up. The previous tenant did most of it, and then we came through and finished it up. Well, we're just gonna come to the front here and we'll work our way back that way. A uh, new tenant has come through and done a couple of things. They've patched a couple of holes here. Our place is decent. Put a piece of transition strip here to uh, offset dark wood and the lighter the oak color. What we got is um, when the previous tenant left, they left about half of this done. So we were committed here. Here's our windows. Well, they don't open, but windows seem to be fine. No cracks. No city cracks. <coughs> They shut. Okay. Seems like they shut. We got a couple of missing slats here. One, two, three, four over here. Got another spot. We got missing slat here. Let's see. Okay. They're not opening. Where are 
are they opening this way? Yeah. Okay, so our window coverings are not opening. It's glass. spots that he's going to paint. I mentioned we would give him some type of credit if he wanted to finish up painting. When we came in this was covered and determined from some noise this was actually a hole that needed to be created and so uh, this is a cold air return. So We put this in, screwed it in so kids don't fall in. Nobody gets hurt. A couple of spots with whole uh, patches. This was uh, done by the previous tenant right there. Oh, as far as tile goes, I think it's all done. Yeah. Got a couple of cracks right here and right here. It's a shame it's only a year and a half. Let me show the kitchen. Here's our kitchen cabinets right here. Our kitchen cabinets minus the doors that are outside. We need to uh, shave these down a little bit. They are, uh, uh, because of the paint that's been on there, it's too thick. We need to shave those doors down a little bit. Hot water work? Yeah. Hot water's working fine. Dishwasher works. Dishwasher works. Okay. Stove, stove works. works. Stove works. Okay. Fridge. Yeah. Okay. Fridge is fine. Everything on Okay. All right. If I keep going out this way, we uh, put in this wood here. Had to modify. We had to kind of improvise a little bit with some wood back here. We ran out of oak here. There's a little patch right here that uh, Brandon's gonna work on. Our bathroom. Windows fine. Shower, toilet, sink, everything's working fine. Okay. All right. Here's a we got a st couple of stains. The windows okay. Are you okay if I come in here? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Here's our windows. see a couple of little things right here it's just you're not going to get around simply yeah. because it's an older house I, I, believe, I believe this is lath and plaster so I mean you got these right here I don't want to take any video of your stuff oh okay you know, that's that's the last thing I want to do so when I'm coming through I'm just <clears throat> basically looking at doors windows that sort of thing so and here let's take a look at the windows Here's a couple of patches that he's going to work on here. Here's our ceiling. Windows, patches. We've got, we have no door here for this closet, nor do we have one for this closet. A couple of stains here as well. Oh yeah, that is missing as well. What's missing? Piece in there. Oh, the latch plate. Yeah. I'm missing a latch plate on this right here. Okay. Latch plates everywhere else. Have no latch plate there. No latch plate. Okay. Looks like we've got a latch plate right yeah. there. Here's our door. Okay. Anything else you want me to video while we're here? No, we're good. No. Okay. Patch here. This is the tile that uh, came through and finished up. They did it the right way. Now, when we came in and tried to finish it up, there was lath. As you can see, we got lath right here. Oh, yeah. So they put lath all the way around. So I, I'm surprised we got a crack up there because they lathed it. But I mean, with these older houses, joists are usually further apart than what they do in today's yeah. construction. So. It's not a surprise as much as we'd like to keep tiles from cracking. Here's our uh, furnace. 
uh, the tenant lit the lit the the furnace, the pilot light. We swapped out a uh, furnace filter before they took possession, so that's new. Water heater seems to be fine and operating just mm -hmm. fine. Okay. I have a little water right here. Is that from? Oh, that's from the bucket. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is nothing that no, we need to be no, concerned we're just about. Cleaning worried up about. This stuff. Okay, so here's our walls, cabinets. Yeah, we got some cabinet doors. Unfortunately, I doubt that one of these would work for that one. We do have a broken. We do have a broken one. I'll make sure. Let's go out and point that broken one out. Okay. Want to have anybody get surprised with that? So here's. Here's our broken, got a broken door, cabinet door. Don't know why, but it is. This is glass. Yeah, I know. I've been doing that too. What is it? Glass and paint over it. <laughs> Are all of them glass? I think so. Who'd have thunk it, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So I guess in theory, we could take this back and put on some glass. Yeah. My preference is to not have people see inside my cabinet, so maybe that was yeah. the rationale, but still, nonetheless, it's painted. All right. Anything else you want to show or uh, point out? No, I think we're good. Here's the uh, swamp cooler that oh, was yeah. put in uh, just a couple of months ago. A tenant and I have talked about uh, putting some kind of insulation over here and leaving this unit up for the winter. So that way we don't have it pulled down. We're not, uh, we don't have missing parts in the summer and the spring when we go to re, uh, re or 